हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी लीनियर मोमेंटम ऑफ सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल्स द मोमेंटम ऑफ पार्टिकल हैविंग मास एम इज गिवन बाय मोमेंटम ऑफ अ पार्टिकल हैविंग मास एम एंड वेलोसिटी वी वी इक्वल्स टू एम वी एंड आल्सो वी नो फ्रॉम द न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन फोर्स इक्वल्स टू चेंज इन मोमेंटम विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम it means equals to m dv upon dt where f is the force on that mass particle due to its due to which its velocity is changing and it is being accelerated so if you consider a system of n mass particles having different velocities v1 v2 and so and the linear momentum of the different mass particles are respectively m1 v1 m2 v2 m3 v3 and so in that case for a system of n particles for a system of n number of mass particles having masses having momentum respectively p1 p2 up to pn in that case the momentum of the complete system will be considered the net vector sum of all the momentum of all particles net momentum of the system is equals to vector sum of momentum of all mass particles that means the momentum of the system p will be equals to vector sum of p1 plus p2 plus p3 up to pn which can be rewritten further as m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus up to mn vn so the total momentum of the system is equals to m v that is the product of total mass of the system and velocity of the system means the velocity of center of mass where the complete mass is being considered to be concentrated so here m equals to mass of the system and v equals to velocity of center of mass of the system since we know the rate of change of momentum is given by force on that system if the external force on the system is zero means dp by dt equals to zero then the momentum of the system is conserved which is constant so in the absence of external force the total linear momentum of the system will be conserved means by which velocity if the center of mass is moving its velocity after some time will be same the velocity will be constant 
with the passage of time if the external force on that system is zero. If you consider an example of radioactive decay of moving unstable particle like nucleus of radium, radium nucleus disintegrates into nucleus of radon and alpha particle. The forces due to which the radioactive decay is there are internal to the system and the external forces on the system are negligible. So total linear momentum of the system before and after the decay will be conserved because the radioactive decay is the process due to internal forces. There is no external force active on that system. If we observe the decay of radioactive material of reference in which the center of mass is at rest, the motions of particle involved in the decay will be such that the product particles move back to back with their center of mass remaining at rest. So there may be different cases where we can select an example to describe the conservation of linear momentum for a system of mass particles. Now we comes to the introduction of vector product. Introduction to production of vectors. Introduction to product of vectors. Say, if we take the two vectors, consider an example of product of two vectors A and B. And let, let us say, their resultant is expressed by vector C. Then, C is the vector product of A cross B, which can be represented graphically as shown in the given figure. The direction of the resultant vector is perpendicular to both vectors A and B. And the direction of the resultant vector is given by right hand thumb rule. If we twist our fingers and stretch our thumb, in that case, the direction of turning of the fingers represents the direction of vector A moving towards B, the rotation of vector A moving towards B. It means A cross B. Whereas the thumb represents the direction of the resultant vector C. So the direction of resultant vector is given by right hand thumb rule. The next case of vector production B cross A where the resultant of the vector product is in terms of vector D. The vector D is represented by B cross A where vector B do, uh, rotates in opposite direction towards A. It is clear from the figure that the D is negative of vector C. Thus we can say A cross B is equals to minus 
B cross A. Hence, vector product is not commutative. That's all for today. Next, we will do next time. Thanks to you.